Hi, I'm Dr. Jason J. Campbell, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. Now, I know you're thinking, but Dr. Campbell, that's the ugliest shirt I've ever seen. Like, this, this, shirt, is, this shirt is pretty bad. For those of you who live in the state of Florida, you know uh, what this shirt is. Um, it's a toll booth operator shirt. I used to work at the toll booth after I graduated uh, magna cum laude from undergrad. I graduated, not a bragging thing, but I graduated 3.89, I got 1B in undergrad in uh, epistemology. I was taking uh, Hopley, Dr. Hopley's epistemology class, I got a B in that. Other than that, I got A's. Graduated with a 3.89, didn't know what the hell I was going to do with my life. Um, got a degree in philosophy, and what do you do? You go to the toll booth. So you went to the toll booth and uh, I started working at the toll booth for about six, six, eight months, probably a little shy of a year. And uh, the only reason I bring that up is it's motivation for those of you who are still looking to find your way in philosophy. Um, I didn't think I would be where I am now per se, because I couldn't conceptualize YouTube, but I definitely did have an idea that I would be a professor, and I am. And uh, it's just motivation for you guys, right? So the shirt is a representation of where I've come from, and uh, hopefully you guys will be able to use these videos and the other videos that I, that I put out there to motivate yourselves uh, to continue with your education. With that, I want to go through the lineup of the books. This is my, uh, my first book haul. I don't buy books in bulk, per se, so I, you know, I never found it valid to do a book haul, but um, I have a few series that I'm going to be developing in 2012, so I bought a crap ton of books on Amazon. And uh, I'm going to show you some of the books so that you guys have an idea. Um, the first book is, I actually use this book in um, graduate school in a medical ethics class that I took. Classic Works in Medical Ethics. Um, so I'll be using this book. You see it's got that, that I saved a lot of money, use discount um, sticker on it. Books really aren't good if they, unless they're ragged and used and bled inside and so on. So um, Classic Works in Medical Ethics, I'll be using this in a series that I'm going to be developing on uh, medical ethics. So that's the first one. Uh, next book is Tough Decision, uh, Case Studies in Cases in Medical Ethics. So Tough Decisions, Cases in Medical Ethics. This is a great book as well. I'll be using this um, to do my series as well in medical ethics. Actually, really good discussions in here. Some of the um, case studies are uh, out of control. So I'll go through this. I'm going to have quite a bit of fun filming this series. I remember the first time I heard my instructors talking about some of the things that used to be legal and arguably moral, um, you know, now they're, they're, they're illegal, the practices, but yeah, case studies in medical ethics, very sort of controversial read, good stuff. Um, the next one up, I'll have in the next week or so, I'll have uh, about 10 hours, I'm currently shooting the series, but I, I'm doing it for, for, for school, so I'm going to upload the videos in bulk. Um, so, ethics in qualitative research. So this is going to be an account of, a very thin book, very short book, but I'm going to go into a lot of detail because I'm going to supplement the lecture with links to pdfs.gov, um, sites.edu sites and such. But basically the ethics of qualitative research, the role and responsibility of the qualitative researcher, the different forms of research and ethical considerations when you're doing grounded theory to make sure that the voice of the uh, participants are are safeguarded and secured, um, dealing with protected populations and blah, 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 blah. So ethics and qualitative research, this will be, this will be the second installment of my qualitative research methods. It's going to work in tandem with qualitative research methods one, which I already have up. Uh, I forget how many hours that is. It's like 10 hours or 12 hour lecture series that I already have up. So this will be up in about a week tops, week and a half tops, the whole lecture series. Um, I'm working on the the series filming now, and then I'll upload in bulk. I didn't want to upload in, in, in pieces, so that's that. Um, next, um, Feminism, the Essential Historical Writings. I, I realized that my feminism um, lecture series was one of the first that I did when I started my YouTube channel. Well, not when I started, when I started to upload videos to my YouTube channel. Um, and I only have about maybe five or six videos. I think probably maybe an hour or two hours tops of um, lecture video lecture on feminism. So I know I need to strengthen my feminism. So I'm going to extend my existing feminism lecture series into like a bona fide official lecture series. Back then I wasn't shooting in HD. It's really sort of shaky cam, gritty, 
now it'll be in HD and um, the series will the series will just be a, it'll be a great series. The thing is, however, I need another book to supplement. So on my Facebook, I ask people for a good supplement. I want a really thick sort of anthology or thick um, edited volume to use for my feminism lecture because I, again, I want to do at least ten to twelve hours on feminism, all the different aspects. I want to you know give my feminist theory uh, lecture series a, a proper a proper um, a proper analysis. So that's that. Um, metaphysics, an anthology. So this metaphysics books I'll be using, this is uh, Blackwell Philosophy Anthologies. This is just a really good anthology. I might be supplementing it with, uh, where's my, I have a metaphysics, if I can find it. Where's my metaphysics? Um, yeah, don't know. But yeah, I might be supplementing, here it is. I might be supplementing it with this book. Um, introduction to Metaphysics, The Fundamental Questions. I use this um, for my undergrad, but I'm probably going to use this. I'm primarily going to use this, but I might be supplementing it with this, and I'll provide links to available resources. Metaphysics lecture series is going to be at least 12 um, hours. This one might be a little bit longer. I I'm thinking this series might take me, some of these series might take me until like mid-year July, uh, because I still have to do my Nietzsche series and my Freire series, which I want to I want to add a few more hours onto those series because people have been following those heavily. But I'm thinking this one might be about 12 hours, um, maybe approaching maybe maybe 20 hours or so. But I want to do a really heavy heavy metaphysics lecture series. So that's that. I'll be doing metaphysics. Um, the Oxford hand, the super fat, the super thick book, right? Um, the Oxford Handbook of Eschatology. I'm going to be doing an eschatology lecture series. It only makes sense to do an eschatology lecture series in 2012. Like, the world's going to end and we're all going to die uh, in 2012 anyway because the meteorite's coming to kill us all. So, might as well um, do a lecture series. And my son's over there playing video games. Uh, the world's actually not going to end. But <laughs> so, <laughs> the world's not going to end in 2012. But, I mean, they say it's going to end in 2012. Um, so, the Oxford Handbook of Eschatology will help to... To, to ease our minds with respect to the end of the world. Very detailed, very complex, whole bunch of information with respect to es eschatology. I incorporated this in my, in my dissertation just briefly, but I want to do a good, again, minimum 12 hours, probably approaching 20 hour lecture series on, on just this book. So, um, and I have links in my feed to the ISBNs if you guys want to, you know, you find a lecture series that you want to follow along with, then you can get the ISBN. Go purchase the book and get prepared before I start uploading videos. So this is going to be pretty interesting. But depending on the feedback, I might kick it out further. Nothing's going to be longer than Nietzsche, but unless I do the Copernican uh, and Immanuel Kant's uh, I, um, discourse, but I don't know about that yet. Um, epistemology, next. So uh, an anthology of epistemology, I consider myself... Uh, sort of hybridized epistemologist, ontologist, somewhat. I love epistemology. Favorite discipline in philosophy is just personally, I like it more than ethics. Epistemology is what, what I really love. So I'm going to do, again, pretty in-depth, maybe not approaching 20. I'm thinking maybe you get them 10 to 15 hours uh, for the epistemology lecture series. Again, um, I've provided the ISBNs in the feed section if you guys want to purchase the books and follow along. So the epistemology should be pretty interesting. Uh, I'm sure they have Gettier's, uh, Gettier's JTB um, stuff. We'll, we'll get into the whole, sort of, the, the main tenets of epistemological thought, correspondence theory of truth, and, 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 and such. Okay, so that's epistemology. Um, social, oh, social and psychological basis of ideology and system justification. I have another one on the shelf. Uh, I forget where it is. It was edited by... Um, and, you know, you think I would be prepared for this since I'm shooting right now. It was edited by Zizak. Uh, it's on ideology. It has, like, an, uh, an eagle on the front. But I'm going to be doing uh, a lecture series on ideology. This will be, like, mid-year. This won't come. I won't get to this series until probably after June, July. But I'm going to do a whole series on sort of ideological beliefs system um, and its relation to a just, justificatory, justificatory system of belief. So heavy, heavy ideology this is going to be a really super hard lecture to put together because it's just so damn complex and complicated. The ideas um, in ideology and, and ideological theory proper is very, very, very dense. So this might be six to eight hours, maybe max ten. 
because it's going to be really esoteric. Um, and people who are, pro you know, this is going to be more for, for people who are already really, really steeped in ideological um, systems of belief and such. So I'll be doing an ideology system. Uh, so, and I'm not sure that I provided the ISBN for this. I might provide the link for this. Uh, but I'll get the ISBN and I'll make sure I provide you guys with the ISBN for that. And plus, once the lecture series starts, I always have links to purchase the book um, so that you can get your arsenal up like I have. And then lastly, um, the biggest book yet, right? This, big, this book is freaking, how many pages is this? This is ridiculous. It's like 1,300 pages. Um, literary Theory and Anthology. I had um, a viewer who suggested, well, a lot of these are come from viewer suggestions. Um, but I had a viewer suggest that I do a Lit Theory um, account, and this is going to be heavy. Like, I want to wrap up maybe the end of the year, probably approaching um, autumn of next year, with a really, 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 really dense Lit Theory um, lecture series. Uh, you know, I'm thinking minimum of 15 hours, maybe 20 to 25 max. But I want it, it's obviously a lot of literature, right? So I want to go through... Um, you know, historicism, everything. I want to go through all of it. Um, maybe not all of it per se, but a very, very, very dense um, literary theory anthology. Not I want to, I'm going to. I'm going to be doing this for 2012. Um, so Lit Theory is another one. I've provided the, the ISBN for this as well. Again, super thick book. So depending on, so that's the last one now. But, and then I'm going to continue my, my Nietzsche series. I'm going to add a couple hours onto that. I'll finish it this year. Um, uh, I'm going to finish up Paulo for a year relatively quickly. I should be able to finish that by maybe April. I'll be able to finish that. Uh, I'm going to finish up Rand. Won't be a problem. I'm probably not going to do Kant's um, groundwork. Was it, was it metaphysics or morals? No, I did. Um, it was uh, the prolegomena um, to the critique of pure reason. But um, Kant's prolegomena, I'm going to finish up because that's not too thick. Um, Rand, I'm going to finish up. I'm not... I might or might not finish up Buber. Some of them I'm just going to leave open. I might or might not finish up um, Jose Ortega y Gasset's Revolt of the Masses. Uh, so those are some of the lecture series that I have in installed. I just got a whole bunch of new lighting for the office, so I'm going to set my lighting up, and hopefully my lighting will be my lighting will be good. And depending on how how much I can produce in the next year, I mean I produced a lot. I don't even know how many hours worth of lecture. I produced uh, the, the Nietzsche series alone, the first 200 videos, is already 32 hours. And I think I'm already like 15 hours in on the next installment of 200 videos. So that's, that's almost 50 hours there. Um, and that's just one series that I've done. I did qualitative, I did semiotics. I've done a lot of series last year. So I, I think I, I approached maybe 100 hours worth of video last year. I want to get, you know, at least that, if not more. Maybe, you know, 250 to 500 hours of... Uh, lecture for 2012 would be would be pretty intense, right? It would just be a, just an enormous repository for you to access, you know, technical information from sort of an academic vantage point. You guys know how I do my, my lecture series, so hopefully, hopefully that all works. But uh, that's it. Those are the books that I have. Again, if you have suggestions for a lecture series that you might want to see me do, just leave ISBNs and comments I always, I go to Amazon and create a wish list of all the, the books that I need to get, and then when the vibe moves me, and I've completed my workload, then I add on to it. So, um, you have to forgive me for my, uh, my, uh, <laughs> my horrible shirt today, but it's a reminder of where I've come from, and where I am now, and obviously where I have to go. So, with that, I want to thank you for watching my videos. Thanks for watching my first book haul. I'm Dr. Jason J. Campbell. Have a good day.